Observational studies and meta-analysis suggest that exercise may improve cancer outcomes, but randomized trial evidence is lacking. The CHALLENGE trial sought to address this knowledge gap. All participants in this trial had completely resected stage 2 or 3 adenocarcinoma of the colon, had completed adjuvant chemotherapy within six months, and had an ECOG performance status of 0 or 1, which indicates low baseline disability were currently exercising for less than 150 minutes per week and were able to walk for six minutes without stopping. Patients were randomized to receive health educational materials or those same materials plus a structured exercise program. All participants were advised to engage in physical activity and follow a healthy diet, but patients receiving the structured exercise program also had the support of a physical activity consultant who conducted in-person supervised exercise sessions every two weeks for six months. After six months, participants could continue in person or switch to remote exercise sessions, continuing every two weeks for three years in total. The primary endpoint of this trial was disease-free survival, which was defined as the time from randomization to first event, which was either a recurrent colon cancer, a new primary colorectal cancer, a second primary malignancy, or death from any cause. Overall survival was defined as the time from randomization to death from any cause. The median age of the 889 participants was 61, and half were women. Adherence to the exercise program was good. 79% of participants adhered to the exercise program for the first six months. 54% were still adhering at one year, and 44% were still adherent at three years. After a median follow-up of 7.9 years, 93 events had occurred in the exercise group compared with 131 events in the education only group, a statistically significant improvement in disease-free survival with a hazard ratio of 0.72, 95% confidence interval, 0.55 to 0.94. The five-year disease-free survival was 80% in the exercise arm compared with 74% in the education only arm. Overall survival was also improved with 41 deaths in the exercise group compared with 66 deaths in the education only arm.